So, as you guys know, I've been spending my hard-earned dishwashing money on pointless little gadgets such as this. Um, now, I've actually got an idea for this GoPro, um, which I think you'll find quite amusing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, tablecloth and I'm going to turn it into a headband. I'm going to sew all this together. All that's going to be sewn together. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cut a little square out of here. And then I'm going to uh, actually, if I take this out, I'm going to take the, uh, the head, this kind of curved strap, which they use to attach on helmets. I'm going to sew that into here with this part just protruding. And the rest of it will be covered, so it will just be that part that's coming out. So I can I can then put that in and out of the uh, of the headband, and um, yeah, I'm basically going to make a third eye cam, so I can go around and um, you you can basically then see everything, um, because I, right now I feel like that we're limited, um, not only to sort of like grainy camera work of this uh, of the iPad, but um, but also it's kind of like a bit cumbersome and and big to carry around and you know um, and take out and and start shooting footage on it um, when I've got something you know kind of like neat and small like this which I can wear on my head and basically you you will see everything so I think it's going to be a vast improvement on the videos so here we are guys basically I've taken the base off of the GoPro uh, there's the thumb screw there and I've cut a hole in the headscarf um, there you go the the join um, at the hinge of the base is just poking through there what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna sew around here so that you, it doesn't fray like this and then once I've done that I'm gonna sew the actual piece into the headscarf and then hopefully the third eye cam will be ready to go so now what I'm basically doing as you can see, is I'm just putting the needle where I've drawn that pen mark where the third eye cam is going to go. I'm just putting the needle in there and then just basically through the hole and then just pulling. I've got about two meters of thread here, so I've got like pull all this length of thread all the way through, and you can see that when it gets tight. Now I'm just going to do this loads all the way around the, uh, the third eye hole. And um, hopefully um, it shouldn't take too long. So there we go. There's 30 minutes of sewing there. There's the front. And um, it's quite nice because the, uh, the base fits quite snugly in there now. So the next thing is to just sew the base into the bandana. And um, yeah, just sew it all along here so we've got like a, a proper kind of headscarf bandana kind of deal. So, what's the potential of this device? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just taking what? Uh, yeah, I'm just taking this for a spin because I've just made the hole in it, so I want to see what it looks like. Oh 
Adjust it a little bit. Um, it's, yep. Okay, so we're recording. Hello guys, right, um, news, um, I've been at the CAF two weeks now um, and unfortunately I'm leaving um, because it's not really for me, it's not really my cup of tea even though it's a tea house um, and I'm going on to Woof at a place called Dermagaya uh, which is a mindful living meditation centre so, um, those of you <laughs> who know me, we're thinking, what, what, meditation, this guy? Nah. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. I've got two beers left in the fridge, uh, two Atara, uh, that's uh, American Pale Ale, and a Garage Project from Wellington, that's Pills and Thrills, a Pilsner. And um, these will be my last beers for at least two weeks, so I won't be. <laughs> and those of you who know me well also, we're thinking he's not going to survive two weeks without beer. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, I will. Um, it's going to be a successful two weeks. <laughs> Maybe even a month. Who knows? Um, I've got some reading material with me um, because the whole point of uh, Derma Gaia is it's a uh, meditation retreat so um, you don't really talk that much um, <laughs> I know which is another thing which a lot of you are gonna go how's this motor mouth gonna shut the hell up um, but yeah uh, it's gonna be like silence through the meditation in the morning mostly silence during meal times breakfast lunch and dinner in total silence and a silent meditation in the evening um, and very little talking trying to connect back with nature so that's why I have books I've got a uh, Frank Herbert's June I've got another one by Frank Herbert um, the Santa Roga barrier which looks quite good I've got threshold um, looks like a kind of a, uh, a fantasy novel 
got another sci-fi novel, The Ship Who Sang, by uh, Anne McCaffrey. That looks that looks kind of good. It's about a ship with a, a female brain. And um, I've got The Green Face, uh, which looks kind of heavy, which is uh, um, about the ghetto and the, uh, the Holocaust. Um, so, yeah, I've got some reading material there. Um, and that's it, really. I'm going to uh, be at this place for minimum of two weeks, maybe longer, um, with basically no talking, no alcohol, uh, healthy food, and meditation. So we'll see how that goes. See you on the flip side.